All right, Void 3.0 has come in hot and everybody's having a ton of fun with the new builds, myself included. However, something funky is going on with Void 3.0 and with the new raid right around the corner, really wanted to make sure I made a video today and put the word out to make sure nobody's day one raid run would get effed up. By the way, today's video is brought to you by Apex Gaming PCs. You wanna get an awesome high performance gaming PC but you don't know where to start? Don't even worry about it. Apex has got you completely covered. Hit the link down in the video description to check out their beautiful machines and remember to use discount code fallout at checkout to receive up to $250 off your purchase. Thank you, Apex. Okay, here's the deal. Certain builds with Void 3.0 give you the option to weaken enemies if you use them the right way, meaning that the particular enemy would take more damage than they normally would. With Void 3.0, there's a few different ways you can get it done on each class. The Warlock Void Buddy, aka Child of the Old Gods, when activated has the ability to latch onto an enemy, which will weaken them. The Hunter has Stylish Executioner, allowing them to weaken enemies with a smoke bomb. Hell, every class has the ability to use Echo of Undermining, which allows you to weaken can people with literally any void grenade. Each one of those new void debuffs will make your target take 15% more damage than they normally would. Naturally, when you're raiding, doing a dungeon or whatever in endgame PvE, you're always trying to figure out how you can stack the deck in your favor to do way more damage than normal to the enemy. Back in season 15, when we would repeatedly farm the GOA dungeon boss for high level armor drops, you'd have Well of Radiance for health, Weapons of Light for damage, Focusing Lens, Particle Deconstruction, just a pile of buffs and debuffs buffs all mixed together. I've already heard a lot of people planning out their day one raid builds, and a lot of them are including Void 3.0 weaken effects and divinity. Some people who really know their stuff might know that usually debuffs don't stack with one another. Even if you try to throw multiple debuffs together, the game will take whichever is the strongest debuff and just go with that number. However, the game isn't doing that the correct way right now. It's effing things up, and if you combine any Void 3.0 weaken effect together with divinity, Void 3.0 0's weaken factor will override divinity. That's actually really bad because the void 3.0 weaken factor is not as strong as divinity. Let me show you what I mean. Here I am in a lost sector with a bud and the cabal, of course. I use the sniper rifle to shoot him in the head and that would be 18,435 damage right there on a normal crit shot. Now we tag the big guy with a divinity debuff and he takes 23,965 damage, aka 30% more damage. That right there is expected because divinity offers a 30% debuff. When we tag the big guy with a Void 3.0 weaken effect, I shoot him with my sniper and deal 21,200 weapon damage, aka only 15% more damage. So far, so good. Void 3.0 weaken only makes targets take an additional 15% more damage. Comparing both numbers, we're looking good. Divinity is stronger on paper. You'd naturally think that if for any reason you were to use both effects together, the game would take the better debuff number, aka Divinity. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Here's me and my bud hitting the big bad with a Void 3.0 Echo of Undermining Grenade and tagging him with Divinity together. I shoot him and only deal 21,200 damage, aka only 15%, when he should be taking an extra 30 from Divinity. Again, it ain't only limited to just one Void 3.0 weaken effect, it's literally all of them. We went through additional options including the Trapper's Ambush Smoke Bomb, the Warlock Void Buddy, yada yada yada. Whenever we paired the effects together, the shot was only dealing 21,200 damage. At the end of the day, here's what that means for your endgame PvE planning and especially your day one or weekend one raid plans. If you're planning on bringing any Void 3.0 into the raid, which many of you probably are, it is crucial that during any major DPS phase, you do not combine together Void 3.0 Weaken and Divinity on any one target. Void 3.0 is the inferior debuff, and yet for some reason, it is taking priority over Divinity. Big shout out to my good friend Court, who brought this to my attention. Go check him out on Twitter. I still think that Void 3.0 is going to be great in the raid. Any encounter where you're running around dealing with a large group of trash, I would love to rock my Void 3.0 crowd control build. You just have to be sure that if you're damaged a big bad and debuffing with divinity, do not stack with any weaken effect from your new void build. You're going to be effing up your damage and making things harder. That's all for right now, but do yourselves a favor, share this info with any teammate, friend, clanmate, whoever, who might be planning on doing the new raid either day one, weekend one, or at any time in the future. I'll be streaming the raid on March 5th, aka day one of the raid, and I plan on making a guide on what loadouts I think will do great in the new raid on day one, so be sure to ring the notification bell so you don't miss that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.